At the end of July, I went back home for a week to celebrate my grandma's 83rd birthday. And birthdays are the days I never want to miss because it's finally a day dedicated to celebrating someone you love. <coughs> the time we have with each person in our lives is limited. Some move, some pass, and some we just drift apart. So why not enjoy the time that we do have while we are together to play around in the garden, spend an evening rollerblading around town, or cook a delicious meal together. And since you guys have always been asking for actual recipes, being back home, I thought it'd be the perfect time to show you some of my family's favorite recipes that you can share with your family too. Hello. Good morning, guys. Today we are going to make. 绿打果 for breakfast. 绿打果 literally translates to like donkey rolling, but it looks way cuter than that sounds. Let's get started. So to make these delicious chewy mochi red bean rolls, you'll start with one cup of glutinous rice flour, a quarter cup of corn flour or regular flour, followed by two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of oil, which we forgot, and you will see what happens later. Then gradually add in bit by bit half a cup of water while stirring the flour, bringing the little clumps together, and then eventually kneading it all into a smooth round ball. Then you'll want to grease a heat-safe bowl before plopping in your dough and steaming the bowl over boiling water for around 20 minutes, letting it cool down before taking it out. <laughs> Next, you'll want to put the dough into a large Ziploc and roll it flat. <laughs> Maybe you should grease the bag. Because we forgot to add oil into the mixture at the beginning, it was way too sticky to roll properly and ended up with a bunch of lumps and holes. But the good news is that it totally does not affect the taste, just the aesthetic. I guess it's still stuck, so it doesn't really matter. Then spread a thin layer of red bean paste over the entire surface, rolling it from one end to the other and cutting them into eight even pieces before rolling the outer sides in a roasted soybean powder. And that is how you make these delicious red bean mochi rolls. It's <laughs> 虽然不是很漂亮，这次但是很好吃 ，and that's what matters the most. So today for lunch, we are going to be making some 韭菜盒子 aka chive boxes, which you can think of as Chinese empanadas. Lily, 厨师 ，Hello， 来一个自我介绍好吗？不用介绍。<laughs> First, we start three cups of flour. Then you'll want to slowly pour in around one cup of hot water. 一般来说，就是说你要水够的话，就是都是小序。Once the flour cools down for a few minutes, add in a quarter tablespoon of instant yeast, followed by a quarter cup of cold tap water. 一边放呢，一边拿这个筷子把它搅一下，像在这个盆里头没有干面的时候，就就可以拿手来。Then put the dough into an oiled bowl and cover it so it's airtight, and let it sit while you prepare the filling.
chive boxes, savory and soft on the inside, a little crunchy on the outside, the perfect meal or snack on the go. Yes! <laughs> It is currently about 6.20 and we are going to make some steamed noodles for dinner and I'm going to go pick some beans to do that. We even got some purple beans this year. Oh, yeah. oh cold, 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 cold. <laughs> Once you've gathered all your beans, you'll want to wash them, remove the strings, and snap them into smaller pieces before boiling them for around three to five minutes until they're halfway about cooked. While you're boiling the beans, you can start preparing the steamed noodles. We're using some homemade spinach noodles that a friend of ours dropped off, but you can use any type of fresh noodles will do. Put them in a steamer over boiling water for around 15 minutes. In the meantime, you can prepare whatever else you'd like to add in. We're using five spice tofu, a few shiitake mushrooms, and garlic. Once you've heated up a pan of oil, add the garlic first to bring out its flavors, followed by the rest of your ingredients to stir fry. Add some salt to taste and mix it in before adding in the steamed noodles. At this point, the noodles should still be a little bit hard, so add in some water to let everything cook in together. Mix, 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 and then you're all done. You can even add some green onion or maybe chili oil if you like it spicy, and there you have it. A delicious dish of nicely steamed chewy noodles. Mm. We're having it with some leftover turnip and pear soup, which is so easy to make. You literally just boil turnips and pears for about 30 minutes. And we also ate some delicious red bean buns a neighborhood grandma gave us when we gave her some of our chai boxes at lunch. I hope you guys enjoyed my first little recipe video. If you try any of these recipes yourself, please tag me in the pictures. I would love to see them. If you have any suggestions or other recipes you'd like to see next time, please let me know. If you have any vegan family recipes you'd like me to try, leave them down below and I will see you next week. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. I love you guys so much. Goodbye. You rock. You're awesome. I love you.